Good morning. Safety tip for the week of October 17th. Dear safety, avoiding the collision. Uh, there's an article that'll be sent to the emails uh, that comes from Geico. And I, I really felt it hit it on the head. So that's why I'm sharing the topic this week. Knowing what to do when you encounter a large animal on or near the ro roadway can be a lifesaver. Keeping calm, driving smart, improve your chances to avoid the collision, and staying safe on the road. Deer mating season can be a dangerous time for drivers. It's coming. Deer and car hoods. According to insurance, 1.6 million deer collisions occur each year. I was just in a training session. This week, somebody all of a sudden, I hit a deer this morning. It's prevalent, it's, on, it's going on. I see them running around all over the place. So, ways we can avoid, okay? Deer are a pack of animals and rarely travel alone. Keep that in mind. Deer crosses in front of you, chances are there's gonna be more nearby. So, slow down. Keep an eye out for more deer darting across the road. Deer are most active at dusk and dawn. Doesn't mean other times they can't be out there. Periods when your vision is most compromised. To add to their trembling, to their terrible timing, deer are on the move during this mating season, October through January. When you're more likely to travel after the sun sets, slow down, stay alert, especially after dark. First, look for road signs. The yellow diamonds with the deer on it are placed in highway traffic areas for deer. You may also spot a deer because their eyes will brightly reflect the car's headlights, making them easier to spot. Stay center. When a multi-lane road, the center lane is usually your safest bet for avoiding a deer collision. As long as your traffic, local traffic laws permit it, it gives deer plenty of space. And in case your vehicle does startle them, it gives them more time to react if one darts onto the road. If you see a deer, brake firmly and calmly. Stay in your lane. Swerving can make you lose control and uh, turn a bad situation into something much worse. That's not to mention, deer are unpredictable and you could swerve directly into a changed path. Some experts recommend that one long blast of a horn will scare deer out of the road. Do not rely on hood whistles or other devices designated to scare off deer. Studies have shown them to be largely ineffective at minimizing accidents. So, what do you do if you hit a deer? If the above plan fails, it happens to, to the best drivers, you should take the following steps, all right, in a deer collision aftermath. Pull to the side of the road as soon as it's safe to do so. Two, turn on your hazard lights and remain in the vehicle until you're Sure, it is safe. Three, call emergency services if injuries are, invo are involved or other local police for property damage. Stay away from the deer. All too often I see the opposite happen. If it is still alive, it could be confused, injured, or dangerous if approached. When contacting the authorities, let them know the deer is in a dangerous spot on the road so it can be removed. And remember, Contact your insurance person as quickly as possible to report any damage to your vehicle. That's my message for the week. Please, be prepared for a large animal such as a deer to dart out. But hold on. Stay in your lane. Your best chance to be safe. Have a great week, everyone. Thank you.